Good evening. I'm joined by a fashion journalist and emoji specialist, Pam Boy, also known as Pierre. Thank you so much for coming in the car with me. Thank you. Uh, we're going to be talking about Celine menswear, Spring Summer 20. Super, super exciting. Um, I believe this is the third uh, menswear show under Celine. Um, and this was kind of filled with the usual grandeur you would now expect from an Eddie Slema, uh show. Amazing lights, carpets rising, carpets rising? Curtains rising. <laughs> Um, and a wonderful kind of light fixture that moves and then ends up uh, at the beginning of the runway. Um, what follows is uh, got a lot of the typical Eddie Slaman traits. So there's leopard print, uh, sparkles and glitter, a little bit of a Cuban heel, um, and of course those kind of 70s neckties uh, and those little nods to uh, kind of baby shambles and uh, libertines who he used to work with quite a lot um, and in the kind of Breton stripe underneath bombers. But mostly this was taking a real segue into um, real, real 70s, uh, some glamour, some everyday, lots of double denim looks, um, but one of the most notable things in this collection are the tight flares. Um, I can see everyone kind of losing their minds over those. Uh, they were really fantastic um, and added an, added a new element to this collection. Uh, I was kind of really pleased to see those because at first I was a little worried that this was another uh, Slaman 70s moment. Um, all the models had fantastic uh, mid-length mops. Um, and kitted out with sunglasses. And there was a brilliant soundtrack by Bodega, which is a kind of new uh, American band, um, which made the song made the song especially for this show. Um, and it had that uh, kind of 90s indie rock that Slaman is kind of renowned for uh, sensibility to it, which I thought was really brilliant. Um, few things I absolutely thought were the standouts were the two suiting looks that bookended the show. The one that opened was a trip, um, a three piece in amazing diamante um, and the one that closed was a tuxedo um, and both of those had that amazing whip it lines that Eddie does like nobody else um, and I also th think they were quite in keeping with this Celine um, this new Celine man that we've been seeing um, a few things I could have done without however are this I think the opening look um, the diamantes is the only time I really wanted that uh, when you see too much diamantes and kind of bomber jackets um, and on shoes then it starts to feel a little too Saint Laurent for me um, but overall I was thoroughly impressed uh, a few things of note um, David Kramer the artist who was actually rose to fame in the 70s is known for uh, kind of beautiful paintings that have some quite depressing <laughs> statements on them and those statements were featured on a few t-shirts and kind of wicker um, wicker wicker bags um, which was quite nice and strong and I really like that merging of ideas however again I feel like I'm at really 50 50 stage with this show I feel like um, there's a real slight element of that Celine luxury missing for me you do get it in the tailoring and in the beautiful leather jackets and trousers and I do think that kind of 70s slightly um, business blazer meets uh, flare jean is brilliantly Celine um, but you are missing for me it's missing that um, real real luxury element that um, that tactility that you want from Celine um, but I, I, I'm, I'm really torn there were some elements that I absolutely loved and I think is gonna be really exciting um, to see menswear under Celine grow and some elements that I just felt were a little bit stuck in the past um, so I'm really torn yeah, help me out here. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to me, Hedy is obviously always going to do Hedy. That's yes. one thing, sure. But I feel like he was probably a bit more relaxed this time. Um, it was less rigid, even the tailoring and, as you said, the, the flares. Everything feel, felt a bit more uh, relaxed and casual, mm -hmm. but still had that Hedy, you know, aesthetic, which we'll see, you know, forever. <laughs> yes. um, and I feel like the strong points which you know tailoring was great um, I really enjoyed it like you said the tuxedo one uh, the tuxedo look or the uh, diamante um, opening look as well was really great um, I mean to me he's really trying to create a wardrobe for that Celine man you know so that's why we have like the you know Breton t-shirts and um, and then we have more casual pieces I just you know, I love Eddie Sliman, but I felt a bit, um, not disappointed, that wouldn't be the, the right word, but I felt a bit, um, like, I wasn't satisfied completely. Yeah. You know, it's like there was something missing. Like, the first, uh, the, the last show, uh, the menswear, the last one, to me, was completely incredible. Um, amazing tailoring again. There was no, you know, 
not one sneaker on show, which is amazing because you see today a lot of t-shirts and hoodies and sweatpants and tracksuits. And yeah. I'm happy that Hedy is never going to fall into that, um, at least when it comes to the, the shows, because in the stores, of course, you do have the sneakers and you do have um, those casual pieces. But the vision revolves around that, L, that very strict, um, Parisian sense of uh, fashion, mm -hmm. which I really love. But this show, I feel like there was something, I don't know if there was something missing, but I was less in Al compared to the previous outings. Um, yeah. Yeah, do you, think it, do you think it's because it was airing on the side of casual wear? I think probably, yes. I've been, to me, casual wear and head is the man, you know, those two things uh, don't go together. For, you know, it's, to me, it's always about these amazing um, suits, and I, you know, even though um, he's not, you know, he's created that look at your arm, and um, I've actually one of my favorite suit is one of those your arm mm. suits, and uh, it's still, you know, impeccable. And I feel like I was missing that element there, even though we had the tuxedo and the uh, diamante mm. suit. Um, Another thing that was actually really funny I found was uh, Bernard Arnault taking pictures like a Gen Z, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, fan. And I thought that was that was pretty great. I don't think he will wear any of it, but it was <laughs> funny that he was there engaging with what Hedy is doing, yeah. which I think is also a sign of him, you know, trusting Hedy a hundred percent. You know, Celine is, you know, when you look at the stores and you know the shows, mm. there is obviously a lot of money. You know, at stakes, and um, and it's only fair, I guess, for Mr. Arnold to to keep on um, supporting his champion. Right yeah, now, for so. sure, because he really is championing. There's so so much hype around him, and I think the kind of the whoops and screams at the end of the collection certainly indicate that he's still got such a cult following. People are so obsessed. Oh yeah, completely. Which is which is really uh, interesting because. You even see younger people who get into the Edis Man, you know, they mm. didn't know who he was when he was back, back, back at Saint Laurent in the 90s. Yeah. But then, you know, they get into the aesthetic and they enjoy it and they want to be that. And I feel like he's, you know, probably now, um, even though he's doing, you know, the same thing, so to speak, mm. um, he's swimming against the current. When you yeah. look at the whole spectrum of menswear, Hedy is doing his thing. It's always been his thing, but it's different now. Yeah. You know, it's kind of a. You were saying earlier, it's kind of a his answer to the opposite of sportswear. A lot of people yeah. are going towards tailoring, and he's like, "I've done tailoring. I've done it really yeah. well. I do it really, really well. So now I'm going to do casual wear, but I'm going to do it my way." Yeah, um, which I think is quite interesting. I also think the David, um, the David logo T-shirts is kind of his version of a logo yeah. T-shirt, which I think is quite smart. Um, yeah. Okay. So a mixed bag. Then we 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 yeah. like it. We love it. We. I still like it. I still like it. <laughs> Only because, you know, when you get into the, the, the stores, I feel like each piece is, even though it's not, as you say, you know, the utmost of luxury, but these pieces are well made, mm. you know. Um, I go into other uh, other brand stores, I will not name names, but you look at the product and you're like, really? Is that really a mm. thousand pound or a thousand euros, you know? I, I need more for that. and. When you go into the Celine store and you open a, a jacket and you see butterfly stitches and all this kind of detailing that yeah. he's crazy about, to me that's where probably the the luxury comes. Yeah, you know? you're quite right. I'm interested to see that in the kind of jackets and bombers and all the like and diamante detailing. Yeah, okay. So it's a look kind of a, a refining of ideas, much more casual, but all about the shape, I would say. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I, I think, think those flares are going to go. Oh yeah, I bananas. Mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that's quite a good note to end on. Look out for the flares. Uh, thank you so much, Pierre, for coming to the car with me. It's been such me. a pleasure. Um, uh, we'll see you guys for Couture. Make sure you subscribe so you get a notification, and uh, be sure to visit Show Studio. You can see all the interesting, amazing Eddie uh, Celine right there. We'll see you soon.